right, little elf, let's go spread some more Christmas cheer. Morning, Miss Prescott. Merry almost Christmas. Same to you, Cindy. <laughs> Any calls? Nothing urgent, but Mr. Logan said he might be stopping by. Oh, I snuck this out of the candy jar. Just between us. <laughs> so, Paul, you must be pretty excited. It's spring Christmas with your grandmother this year. I guess. I just hope she has good Wi-Fi. Hey, I thought we agreed we weren't going to share our time with the computers. We're going to be too busy having so much fun doing Christmassy things in Holly Pines. Like? Making gingerbread houses, decorating a Christmas tree, and there's a Christmas festival. Oh, and there's an old-fashioned holiday train, too. I've never heard you talk about the holiday train before. Time to think of it. I don't think you've been back home for Christmas in the five years I worked for you. It's always so tricky getting away in December. There's all these end-of-year deadlines, and it just sneaks up on me. But I made a promise to my mom that I would make it happen. Well, hopefully, all that hard work will pay off with the senior designer promotion. I hope so. <laughs> I uh, promised this guy we'd look into getting a house so that we could finally get a D-O-G. You know I can spell, right? <laughs> I must have missed the memo, Danielle. This day bring your son to work day? <laughs> uh, Paul, you remember my boss, Mr. Logan? Are you excited to find out what Santa's bringing you this year? He's not the only one. <laughs> if these designs of yours at the Springfield Airport are any indication, I bet you'll find something special in your stocking this year. <laughs> almost forgot. I need you to get a jump on the presentation for the McKinley Hotel over the Christmas break. Oh, well, I, I wasn't planning on working over the holidays. But I'm sure I could work something out. Good. I like a team player. Absolutely. Go team. Up. You know, the last time you were here, you were about two years old, and all you wanted to do was take the decorations off Nana's tree. We are so close, I can almost smell the oatmeal cookies. I like sugar cookies better. Well, don't worry, because if I know Nana, she's got you covered. Listen, Paul, I know you don't remember much about Holly Pines, but trust me, you are going to have so much fun. This is going to be a Christmas to remember for both of us. Promise? Promise. Starting with a tiny mission before we get to Nana's. Come on. My dad had a rule that you couldn't put up the tree until after the first December snowfall. Why? Because he thought there was something magical about the first snowfall, and then he would let me pick the most majestic tree in the whole lot. It's a pretty big responsibility. Think you're up for it? Mom, I'm nine. Okay, go on and find the tree you think is the most special. Wait a minute. This is it. This is the one. Okay. Are you sure? Positive. All right. Let's go see the guy. Excuse me, sir. Do you think we can get a hand when you get a moment? Mom! Oh, hold on, Paul. Uh, we found a tree that we would love to buy. But it's getting yeah. away! What? Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, sir! Sir! Please! Stop! stop. Sorry, buddy. Get another one. Maybe there really is something to the magic of the first December snow. I mean, your Christmas tree just vanished. More like stolen. Yeah, that guy was super rude. He totally ignored me. It's just a tree, guys. But it's the principal. And it's the one Paul picked out. Like I said, it's just a tree, and I'm really glad to have you here safely. It is such a treat to have you home. You worked too hard, darling. Her boss gave her homework. No. Over the holidays. No. Don't worry. It's nothing I can't handle. No, that's what you always told your father, and he's still worried about you all the time. Yeah. <sighs> not a day goes by I don't regret not coming that last Christmas. Oh, well. How are we to know? How are any of us to know? Right? I would give anything to ride the holiday train at the festival one last time with him. I was telling Paul all about it. <sighs> He would have loved it. He used to bring such joy to all the children in town. What do you mean used to? 
Sweetie, the holiday train fell by the wayside a few years back. I mean, your father was... was all the driving force behind making sure that train was up and going every year. I mean, now with the... Well, the bridge renovations that lower tourism, I mean, the town council can barely afford to keep the Christmas festival going. I mean, I had to convince them that I should host a holiday auction to help raise funds and keep it alive. I mean, we'll still have the vendors and we'll have the booths. The, the choir, they will perform, but... I'm sorry, honey, no train. You know, I'm, I'm afraid it's just not going to be what it used to be, but we're doing the best we can. Sounds like fun. I promised Paula Christmas to remember. <laughs> well, who's to say it won't be? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nana, do you know the Wi-Fi password? The Wi-Fi password? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, I don't know what the first tree you picked out looked like, but I would say that we have made this one look pretty special. Me too. I have not seen that look in your eyes since you were little. Well, I found these hiding in the attic behind the other Christmas decorations. They weren't hiding. They've been up there since you went away to college. <laughs> what is it? Well, seeing as the holiday train has been derailed, I found us the next best thing. This is the electric train set that my dad and I would set up every year under the Christmas tree. Wow, these are really old. Uh, they are. You know, your great-grandfather gave that to my dad when he was your age, and it never felt like Christmas until it was under the tree. Both worked until you were bleary-eyed to make sure it was done. What's this? Oh. I drew this. I remember when you gave that to your father. Even then, we could tell you had a gift. Dad always dreamed that one day we would board the Sunset Limited and ride all the way to California together. Yeah. Never did make that happen. I wonder how that got in there. Oh, I think he probably tucked it in for safekeeping. <laughs> he always did have a tough time getting rid of things, didn't he? Mm, for him, everything had sentimental value. Yeah. Oh, a 25-cent ticket for a ride on the North Pole Express. The North Pole Express? Well, that's the name of the holiday train that rides at the Christmas festival. And your granddad was the conductor. Hey, Mom, what happened to the train cars once they retired? Oh, by then, I think they were probably all pretty worn out. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they went to the trash heap. I mean, maybe one of the train enthusiasts in town would know where to find them. Hey, Mom, can we set up your toy train under the tree, like when you were a kid? I guess we could, if you really want to. Oh! Okay. Well, I'm a little bit worried these have been in that musty attic too long. Might need a bit of a tune-up. You know the hobby shop on Main Street? It's still in business. I bet they could help you out. I mean, that used to be your dad's go-to spot. Huh. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. We should be close. Oh, there it is. Come on, Paul. here. Do you see where the model railroads are? No, but I bet there's all sorts of cool stuff buried under this mess. This place is awesome. More like a disaster. Uh, well, the sign says it's open. There's got to be a bell on here somewhere. I think they need a bigger bell. Okay, you stay here. I'll poke my head in the back, see if there's anybody. And don't touch anything. Hey, Paul, look, there's a train. I, uh... What are you doing back here? I, I was trying to get some help. By taking it out of my poor defenseless nutcracker? Gosh. I rang the bell twice, but clearly you didn't hear me. Clearly. I'm sorry. I like to listen to Christmas tunes while I'm working. It puts me in the spirit. Well, maybe you could put a sign out front for your customers? Maybe. Hey. 
Kevin. You're Kevin Vaughn. You work here? Uh, I own the place. I I'm sorry, do we know each other? Danielle Prescott. We went to high school together. We were lab partners in 10th grade chemistry. <laughs> no, I remember. Danny Prescott. Actually, you're the reason I got a B minus. Oh, so what is this, payback? I'm pretty sure the statute of limitations is run out on your grudge holding. I didn't mean to break your doll. It's not a doll. It's just that it's so cluttered in here, I'm surprised people don't break things all the time. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's not cluttered. What would you call it, then? Mess adjacent. Mm. Huh. Okay. Look, I can tell you where each and almost everything in here is hiding. Okay, look, it's not a perfect system, all right? But it works for me. Hey, Mom, how do you turn this drain on? Paul, I told you not to touch anything! Wow. This is the locomotive from the holiday steamer collection. <laughs> There's not many more of these in existence. We've had it as long as I can remember. It was my dad's. Are you Walter's daughter? Yeah. You knew him? <laughs> yeah. He was a friend of my dad's. They used to come in here all the time, buy parts, talk shop. And there were train communities that pretty tight knit. Used to talk about his old steamer all the time. I mean, I'd never seen it before, though. So do you think you can fix it? If the parts exist, it can be fixed. How long has it been since it was set up and running? Since I went to college, my uh, dad's the one that used to fix it. Yeah. I'm sorry about your dad. He was a good guy. Thanks. He was. You know, buddy, it's really interesting. Most people think these trains are just toys. However, they truly are. Work so hard. So many man hours of work to go into this. Did you know the first miniature trains that was created in 1900 was never intended to be a toy? Then what did they use them for? Well, back then, there wasn't commercial airlines, right? So people traveled by train. They would use these miniature train sets of storefront displays, et cetera, et cetera, things like that, especially popular during the Christmas holiday season when people were traveling home by, you guessed it, train. Wow, you know a lot about trains. Yeah, kind of goes with the territory. <laughs> I inherited this place from my grandfather. He taught me how to tinker. My dad got me hooked. to get our train back on track for Christmas. Well, I was about to head into the city for some parts, so today's your lucky day. Just load these up in my truck and we'll be good to go. Wait a minute. That's your pickup truck? Uh, yeah. No, I know she's not much to look at, but she's been with me for a long time. You ran away with our Christmas tree yesterday. Paul picked it out, but by the time I got someone to help us out, you'd already thrown it in the back of your pickup. Yeah, we tried talking to you. It felt like you were ignoring us, but I guess the headphones were the culprit. I'm sorry, pal. It's an innocent mistake. Forgive me. <laughs> sort of like you and my nutcracker. Why don't you say we call it even? How about this? If you get our locomotive to work, We'll call it even. Deal. Client. Chasing year ends is a never ending task for us CPAs. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All right, lay it out for me. How are we looking? Yeah, well, income took a sharp decline in the fourth quarter. Any idea why? Uh, well, I'm in the hobby business, and as you know, it's in 
ebb and flow. The holiday season usually gives us a shot in the arm we need. Well, you better hope so. Otherwise, there's not going to be a lot to cover bills, much less draw salary from come spring. Are you serious? I didn't know it was that bad. Kevin, I keep telling you, you need to create a spreadsheet of all of your inventory. You can't sell what you don't know you have. You're right, you're right, you're right. I just, I, I haven't gotten around to it. Oh, I hope I'm not interrupting. No, no, Jack, you're... That's okay. Uh, this, this is my accountant, Dylan. Uh, Jack knows the flower shop next door. Hi, I, I, I'm, I'm Jack. You're, you're Jack. Uh, I hate to bother you, but I'm having a hard time locking my door. I was hoping you might come help me with it. Yeah, sure. All right, Dylan, I'll be right back. Um... Yeah. <clears throat> hope, hope to see you again. I should really just get a locksmith to look at it. Oh, it's just cold out. This ought to do it. Uh, there we go. All right. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Mm -hmm. It's probably just stuck. <clears throat> there we go. Here. How can I check? Someone's burning the midnight oil. What you working on? Uh, the lobby design of the McKinley Hotel. And we're not excited about it because... The developers tore down this really cool old building to make another luxury hotel. I don't know, my heart's just not in it. And it's Christmas. <laughs> but I'm up for a big promotion and my boss is making me do backflips to get it. Mr. Logan loves a team player. Well, if this Mr. Logan does not appreciate what he's got in you, then he does not deserve you. You sound just like Dad. Especially holding his coffee mug. Oh. Well, it's the little things like this that make me feel... a little closer to him somehow. I know. I know it's silly. I know. No, Mom. It's not. It's sweet. What is that? It's your father's. I found it buried in there after... <sighs> anyway, Paul got so excited about the train set that I wanted to show it to him. Well, I want to see it too. I thought you might. <laughs> Have a look. Fabulous, aren't they? It's all these pictures of you when you were little. I've never seen that photo before. That's the Holly Pines Rail Fans. Train enthusiasts around town. They used to get the North Pole Express up and going every year under Dad's charge. And who's this guy on the left? That's Mr. Vaughn. He was the ringleader of the group. This whole group of guys, they were a really close bunch. They loved trains. You know, who knows? Maybe, maybe Paul will inherit the love of trains and make memories of his own. I think. I hope so. Mm. Me too. <gasps> oh, <Aww>. no. <laughs> you, you loved sitting up front while Dad played conductor. I just assumed the festival and the train would always be around. I guess I took that for granted, too. Oh, Danny. Your father was so proud of you just wanted you to find balance. I've been trying to find balance my whole life. You know, you're more like your father than you think. You two could be a force of nature when you set your mind to something. I pity the person who gets in your way. Oh, please. It's true. Let me show you another one of these. Uh-huh. Mrs. Prescott, I, I'm Kevin Vaughn. I uh, own Vaughn's treasure chest. Oh, Kevin Vaughn. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Danny came by. She dropped off these old Lionel trains. I fixed them up, but I dropped them off. Kevin, that was so thoughtful. Please come on in out of the cold. Thank you. Come on. 
Just Thanks. there. Deep for shape. Thank you. Perfect. Hey, Kevin! Hey, buddy. Have you heard of the Shanghai Maglev? Of course. It's only the fastest train in the world. You know how fast it can go? Over 200 miles an hour. 267, to be exact. It can take passengers 19 miles from the airport to the city and just count them. Seven minutes. And the kicker? It uses magnetic levitation to do the trick. Levitation? That's awesome! I know. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who is fixed and ready to go? Oh, Danny will be so pleased. Is she around? She had a little work to do, so she went into town, but I'll let her know that you stopped by. Thank you. Enjoy this, buddy. I'll see you soon. Wait, you can't leave. You still have to help set up the train. <laughs> Finished here. Well, I've got good news about Dad's train set. Kevin fixed it? Wow, that was fast. I'll uh, head over to the shop and pick it up. You know, I wouldn't do that. Why not? Because Kevin's here at the house setting it up with Paul, and I'm not sure which one of them's having the better time. Oh! Boom! Finished! shop anytime. Uh, we will. Take care. Uh, Kevin, wait. I, uh, I haven't paid you yet. I have to admit, I've never met a hobby shop owner who makes house calls. So, uh, what do I owe you? I thought we were just gonna call it even. No, seriously, Kevin. Okay. I know it was a long time ago, but I have a confession to make. I am fully aware I am responsible for your chemistry grade. I chose you as my partner because I knew I needed the class Brainiac in order to pass. I should have spent more time on my studies. I didn't. And I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. We were kids. I'd just like to help you like you helped me back then. So I figured, you know, fixing your train would be a nice do-over. A do-over, huh? Yeah, you know, a way to right wrong from the past. I wish I had a do-over. For what? Ever since I came back to Holly Pines, I've been feeling guilty for all the years I've been away. Well, look at yourself, huh? I'm sure you made up for lost time now. Only were that easy. <laughs> right, been there. <laughs> you know, my dad, you always used to say, nothing you can do to change the past, but you can write the present. I like that. I'm starting to understand why our dads are friends. Hmm. Say, Kevin, you wouldn't happen to know what happened to the old kitty train that ran at the Christmas festival, would you? North Pole Express. <laughs> why? Uh, just curious. Well, uh, you know, as the uh, resident train guy. Mm. I can make a few calls. See what I can find out. I have an idea where to start. Thanks. That would mean a lot. Uh, and thanks again for fixing the train and... Danny, remember. You earned it. 10th mm. grade chemistry. 10th grade. <laughs> for the Christmas festival, and you can help me choose where to set up the booths. And then after you finish that drink, look, you can try your luck on that hill. Right there. How's the cider? Delicious, and it's keeping my hands warm. <laughs> Bonus. You know, you're pretty special, kiddo. Oh, you've gotten so tall. How's school? You still like being in Chicago? 
School's fine, I guess. Chicago, too, but I like being here more. Hmm? Why's that? Because I get to spend a lot of time with my mom. Back home, she's always working. She doesn't really have time for tubing or trains. She's a lot more fun here. Yeah, I like spending time with your mom, too. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Logan. I am so glad to hear that you like the renderings. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. I'll get it. Uh, I am actually spending the holiday. Oh, hi, Kevin. Come on in. Where I grew up. She's right in there, okay? Uh, well, thanks for calling with the good news. Merry Christmas. What's the good news? I, I'm up for a big promotion, and it seems I'm wowing my boss. Yeah, he says I exceeded his expectations. Obviously. Congratulations. Thanks. Uh, so why are you here? I'm pretty sure I only gave you one train to fix. Well, that's true. However, you left me with a task. If you have time to go for a ride, I found the guy who knows what happened to the old kitty train at the Christmas festival. Really? Mm-hmm. That's great! Uh, now? It's a bad time. Well, I have a few emails I need to send, and I... I... And I'm sure that will all be waiting for me when I get back. So I'm just gonna <laughs> get my purse and uh, my jacket. I'll be all set. Oh, Danny, let me get that door for you. It's gonna be a bit temperamental. Temperamental, huh? Are you sure you're not trying to be chivalrous? Go ahead. Give it a shot. <clears throat> Now, can I give you a hand? Please. <clears throat> For the record, I was trying to be sure of <sighs> You made stay off. Are you sure she's not hiding under all your stuff? <laughs> Can I give you a hand? No. I got this. Stubborn. thing and he taught me to love it so i guess i do what is this oh uh the guy we're going to meet uh eric used to be a friend of my dad's actually eric's the one who helped me keep this place afloat when my dad died oh. anyway he's been looking for the style of water tower for his layout so i'm gonna trade him a few things for the parts i need for my nutcrackers a good old-fashioned barter huh that's right it's how we do things in holly pines oh well it's nice to know some things haven't changed other things have. Uh, so, uh, I've been meaning to ask. It was you and Paul, but, um, I mean, your business father and... Oh, uh, we're divorced. Almost five years. Yeah, it's just mostly Paul and I, so I've had my hands full. I bet. Paul gets to see him during the summer and has spent a few Christmases with him, too. Did you ever think about remarrying? Oh, I, I don't know. I've been pretty busy with work and, of course, Paul. Anyone I date needs to know that he and I come as a package deal. You gotta be all in. Absolutely. What about you? You ever been married? Oh, uh, no, but uh, I was, I was this close once. Case of cold feet? On her part. Yeah, right. But that didn't bother me. Not as much as the constant arguing. We would not. I've been good lab partners.
Uh-huh. I see Eric here. He's the real train expert. Real Amtrak Joe. Well, I rode the train a lot when I was young. Saw the world from their windows. And he used to work for Union Pacific. Oh, that's so cool. 25 years. Yeah, that was a good run, but I needed a change. Now I spend most of my time restoring these old timers. And keeping Kevin out of trouble. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, watch it now. Guess who this is? Danny Price Scott. It's Walter's daughter. I thought you looked familiar. You have his eyes. Mm-hmm. Oh, Walt. Oh, he was quite the rail fan. He'd always rally the troops Christmas time. You'd be happy to know we got uh, Walter's old line out back on track. Uh, and it's quite the collector's item. You know, you could make a small fortune from that if you ever wanted to sell it. Thanks, but that train means more to me than anything. Well, as you can see, there's plenty here that I can't bear to part with myself. Uh, Kevin said you might be able to help us find the North Pole Express. I'd love to see it one more time. Follow me. <clears throat> Look familiar? You have it? I can't believe this. Yeah, the city sold it to me at auction. I've been tinkering with a few of the cars for a little while. Now there are too many key parts missing, and I got so busy with the smaller trains, I couldn't give the TLC it deserved. Any idea what it would take to get it up and running again? I mean, I think this is the key to saving the Christmas festival. Uh, Danny, 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 come on. That's, that's unrealistic. It's five days till the festival. This train's been sitting here untouched for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot more than spin polish to get this thing running. Yeah, I'm afraid that would take a... Oh, a Christmas miracle. said two words the entire way home. You okay? I'm okay. Just disappointed. Look, I get it, Danny. I do. I'm sure back in the city, just want to get things done. It's just snap of your fingers. But around here, things are a little different. Maybe if we had more time. But Eric and I, we both have businesses to run. I mean, he's a private guy in general, right? <laughs> so I'm just not sure he's up for a crusade to bring back the holiday train. I get that. It's just that I come from a family that has the philosophy where there's a will, there's a way. Let me get that for you. Like I said, determined. <laughs> Those look great. <laughs> Nana let me do the icing and took me tubing. What? Really? You and Nana, huh? Oh, this old dog's still got a few new tricks left in it. <laughs> it's just so great spending time together. Yeah. For us, too. Right, Mom? Absolutely. In fact, I promise that we will make more time to come up here. Good. I just may have to use Paul as a witness. <laughs> Guess what? Mm -mm. Kevin and I found the guy who owns the old North Pole Express. His name is Eric. He's a train enthusiast, and he knew Dad. I was hoping we might be able to set it up one last time for the Christmas festival, but my hopes were dashed with a dose of reality. It's beyond repair. I think his exact words were, it would take a Christmas miracle. What kind of miracle? Well, I don't know. I think something that is truly wonderful and unexpected. It can only happen at this time of year. I hope we get one. You and me both, kiddo. You and me both. Fuck you. 
He almost made it to the ghost of Christmas past before he passed out. <laughs> oh, he's such a special kid. Hey, what's on your mind, sweetheart? It just feels like everything that's been a constant for me is slipping away. Somehow, the idea of bringing back the train was like bringing back a piece of Dad. He would have done anything to save the holiday train. It's true. He'd move mountains, wouldn't he? <laughs> then don't I owe it to him to do the same? I've got something for you. had to get their tickets punched. <laughs> I wanted every experience to be as real as possible. And I think it's time that this old coat found a new owner. Your dad would have wanted you to have it. Really? This means the world to me. I just wish I could find the hat that went with it. I'm gonna cherish this forever. I know, sweetheart. You, but this Nana is ready for a long winter's nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay up for a little bit, burn more of that midnight oil. I'm suddenly feeling inspired. Really? Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. I love you. I love you too, Danny. So much. Good night. Good night. folks do business in Holly Pines gave me an idea and I decided it was time to freelance. I'm gonna go take a shower and meet with the client. Wait, Danny, you must be exhausted. At least let me make you something a little more nutritious than hot cocoa and candy cane. Are you kidding me? After all the work I got done last night, I'd call that the breakfast of champions. <laughs> See you soon. Huh? All right. This is a really cool vintage line L train. Your nephew takes good care of it. It'll do nothing but go up in value. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for the information. Let, let me think about it. You got it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, after you. I just wanted to stop by and drop off a little something for helping me the other night. Uh, <laughs> Jackie, this really wasn't necessary. Look at it as more of a peace offering after all the ups and downs of our relationship. I miss what we had, Kevin. Jackie, I... I'm not saying we go back to the way things were, but maybe we deserve a chance to start over. All right, so... Hey, Danny. Um... Jackie, you remember Danny Prescott. Uh, of course. Um, when did you get back to town? I haven't seen you around here in a while. Uh, just a few days ago. You look great, Jackie. Thanks. Uh, well, I'll give you two minutes. I hope to see you around, Danny. Oh. See you. You know, for some reason, I don't believe her. And why do you say that? Well, she wasn't exactly the nicest to me in high school. Or to anyone, really. Hey. High school was a long time ago. People change, Danny. For instance, look at me. Look how well I turned out. I have to admit, I'm pleasantly surprised. All right. What's up? 
I have a proposition to discuss with you and Eric. This is about restoring the holiday train. I know, I know, but I think I can change your mind when I make you a deal you can't refuse, Holly Pine style. Uh, no. Oh, come on. Okay, so let me just start off by saying, gentlemen, I have come up with a plan that I think will make everyone happy and expand your businesses exponentially without a single dollar investment on your end. Well, let's take out of here. Last night, I looked at your website, if that's what you want to call it, and Eric, you don't even have one. Oh, I'm not very <laughs> tech savvy yet. I still carry a flip phone. Well, lucky for you, I am. Last night, I created a website with the potential to tap into your entire inventories, which would open your hobby shops to online sales. Okay. Say you're looking for the Sunset Cruiser, okay? You would just type it into the search bar here and uh, voila. That's impressive. This could really help my business. Well, part of my job as a designer is to work with brick and mortar businesses to get them online. And sometimes that means helping them with a new look. I liked my website. <laughs> this one's way better. And sometimes not only do I get them a new look, but new innovations. Okay, for example, instead of Eric picking up the phone to see if you have a part in stock, this redesign would detect it immediately. And not just for folks in Holly Pines. This site would be national for any hobby enthusiast to have access to your merchandise. The only problem is, with a project of this magnitude, you need to put a spotlight on it. Biggest spotlight. Well, I'm sure there are a lot of model railroaders who would love to display their creations. They just need a place to do it. I thought the Christmas festival could use a little tune-up. We rebrand the whole thing. The Festival of Trains. Something to bring in new clients. The next generation of rail fans. Kevin, your dad brought people together. I know you can too. What exactly do we have to do to pull off this feat? Well, you just need to get the North Pole Express up and running for Christmas Eve, and I will do the rest. Even if we wanted to get the old express up and running again. There's no way it's impossible with that deadline. Well, my dad used to say, nothing is impossible if you put your mind to it. Have you always been this... Passionate? Sure, let's go with that. Well, only when I really believe in something. So, what do you say? You in? Oh, I know it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Great! Look at everything we've done already. I know. I just hope that we've got enough to raise all the money that we need. Come here. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, about that, I had an idea of something we could donate. Oh? But it's not my choice to make. It needs to be a family decision. Of course you're gonna do it. This could be like that shot on the arm that you keep talking about. It could save this place. Maybe. Or maybe she'll have me spinning my wheels from Christmas Mission Impossible. I don't know. What's holding you back, Kevin? Are you worried what will happen if you fail, or are you scared of what might happen if you succeed? I'm probably a little bit of both. <laughs> you know what I think? No, but I have a feeling you're about to tell me. I think living in your dad's shadow is intimidating. And you don't want to admit that Danny's right that you could use her help. You know, this accounting thing doesn't work out. You make a great therapist. Oh, man, that's a real funky-looking doll. It's a nutcracker, Dylan. It's a nutcracker.
you go. Thank you. So, Eric and I looked over your proposal, and we've come to a decision. You're gonna do it. See? That. That, that right there. That's why I'm worried about working with you again. Again? 10th grade chemistry. Oh. I remember you being a bit of a control freak. And I remember you being way too casual. That's why I think we would make a good team this time around. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Hmm. How did you know my business was in trouble? I didn't. As a designer, I like to look at things as a work in progress. I checked out your website, and it was okay, but I like to think that there's always room for a little improvement. Improvement? <laughs> okay, look, don't get me wrong. I truly do appreciate all the work you put into creating this website, but You I would just... have liked to have been consulted. Yes, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. For this partnership to work. I just, I want you to promise that you're not gonna go fixing things unless we both agree that they're broken. I can do that. So, you in? I'm in. But, for us to pull this off, I'm gonna need some help with the shop. Eric and I are both gonna be working on the train cars. I'm your gal. Uh. <laughs> your nephew is gonna love this come Christmas morning. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, um, we're uh, holding a holiday auction at the community center tonight. The funds support the Christmas festival. Oh, that sounds great. I'll check it out. Okay. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Kenny. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, working, actually. Well, I'm covering the cash for Kevin while he works elsewhere. You two seem to be spending a lot of time together. Oh, he's been a lifesaver. I don't know what I would have done without him the last few days. Right. Um, the thing is, Kevin and I have been talking about getting back together. Oh! Uh, I, I didn't know you two were a thing. He didn't tell you? Well, we've been so focused on work, it never came up. Kevin and I are just friends, Jackie. Nothing more. I... I hope you don't mind me saying something. I just didn't want things to get awkward. <laughs> oh, uh, I almost forgot. Your mom asked if I could donate a Christmas arrangement to the auction, but I never called back. What a surprise. Excuse me? Uh, well, I, I mean that she didn't call again. My mom can be persistent. <laughs> Tell her I'd love to put something together. All right, well, I just replaced a busted circuit breaker in the main transformer. I'm hoping that's all she needs. There goes nothing. Ah. Hey, there you go. Uh, that's a relief. One small step, right? Yeah, with many more to follow. So, if we manage to pull this off, you think Danny's plan is gonna do for our businesses what she says it's gonna do? I don't know. Where she believes, I believe. <laughs> She certainly has managed to push a reset button inside of you. What do you mean? She's got you excited about this stuff again. It's good to see. Hi, sweetie. Hey! We're making crab bags for all the kids at the auction tonight. Five dollars stocking stuffers. Well, that's a great way to warm up the crowd. I know, it's fantastic. Uh, so I invited Kevin to come oh, earlier tonight. Nice, okay. There's something that we want to present to the council. Uh -huh. Uh, you know, a fresh take on the Christmas festival. What? Nothing, I just can't remember the last time you looked so relaxed. Uh, really? I feel like I can barely keep up. That's because you're enjoying what you're doing. It makes all the difference. I guess I never really thought of it that way. Those things at the hobby shop? Oh, uh, well, they're still very cluttered, but I promised Kevin I uh, wouldn't take over. Oh, how's that going? I am trying really, really hard. <laughs> uh, so where's Paul? I think you will find him conducting the holiday steamer's final victory laugh around the Christmas tree. Take the controls? Sure, I think I remember how to work them. 
Okay, all aboard. <laughs> Sounds like that cattle car is carrying some loose change. A key? What does it open? I think I know. Come, 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 come. come. And how many is it? I wondered where this key was. I looked everywhere. Dad's old desk? Dad's old desk. <gasps> Here we are. Dad's secret stash. What's this? Oh, it's the town square. I remember this. Dad and I created a plan to make a miniature train of holly pines. This is what made me want to become a designer. Remember to follow your dreams, Danny, for they know the way. Dad. Oh, wow. Such a shame. You two never end up making this a reality. Yeah, we never made the time. Well, what about with all the stuff at Kevin's shop? He has everything. I guess we could, couldn't we? I am technically a part-time employee. Hey, what do you say we make this our special Christmas project? Wait, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to rinse off, and then I realized I had nothing to wear, so then I had to iron this out, and I... Kevin, it's okay. You look great. Uh, don't be nervous. Just speak from your heart, and you'll win them over. <sighs> My dad, he was the one that was always so good at this. Confident, charismatic. It was easy for him to do it. Your dad would be proud of you. Okay, and remember, you're not alone up there. Okay? Come on. Uh, you got this. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to change the festival, but instead build on what everyone already loves. Presenting the Holly Pines Christmas Festival of Trains. With the resurrection of the holiday train, it seemed like a fitting theme. And Kevin has been working day and night to make sure that our beloved train is up and running come Christmas Eve. Uh, that's right, Danny. Um, you know, look, as, as a veteran owner of a hobby shop, I, I gotta tell you, all the train lovers, young and old, will come from miles around to see this. You gotta trust me on this one. With your blessing, we will call on the troops, we'll let each and every one of them know. And they've... They've assured me that this change won't cost any more than what's already in the current budget. So whatever we raise tonight will be enough to bring this to life. So all those in favor, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Well, then. Oh, I guess that's settled. We're very excited. Now, the next item up for sale is a glorious Christmas arrangement donated by Jackie's Village Floors. So why don't we start the bidding at $50, $50. 100. 100, wow, okay. Do I hear 120? Sold. $100 to? Dylan Byers. Congratulations, Dylan. Now, the last item up for sale tonight is the complete 1957 Lionel train set known as the Holiday Steamer. Now, these are very rare in this condition, so why don't we start the bidding at $500? $500, do I hear 500? 500. 500, I hear 500, do I hear six? $600, 600? 650. 650, I've got 650, do I have seven? Let's have $700 for this beautiful set. Hang on one sec. What? Oh my. Um, we've just received a very generous silent bid for $2,500. $2,500. Do I hear $2,626? $2, well, in that case, the holiday steamer is sold for $2,500. <laughs> that concludes this year's holiday auction. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming. It's wonderful. Hang on, what? what? Hold on, hold, hold on. I've got
got one final announcement to make. Thanks to all the money raised here tonight, I am thrilled to announce that the Christmas festival will go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, I need three axle brushes, one auxiliary inverter, and uh, one voltage controller. Completely out of stock. Of all of it? But have you checked? It, without that voltage controller, we're just spinning our wheels here. What if we refurbish the one we got? Yeah, that's more work than it's worth. The belt assembly's fried and the thermal coil is toast. Gotta be another way. Uh, yeah, 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 no, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you just hold everything you have for Kevin Vaughn. I'll be down within the hour. All right, thanks. So what do you want to do now? Should we ask Santa to bring us a voltage controller? Huh. I mean, we're scheduled to launch in two days. Where well, there's a will, there's a way. We call each and every supply chain up and down the coast. There's bound to be someone from far we need, right? All right, I'm gonna go head to the shop, check things out, and then I'm gonna hit the road, see if I get lucky. I better hope. Because otherwise, this train is not leaving the station. Come on, Eric. Think positive. Be positive. Uh. Hey, Kevin. Hey, buddy. Hey. Putting the kid to work, huh? Ha ha, very funny. Got a lot of work to do, but it's a start. I've been trying to keep an inventory in an online database, so it's up to date. You are amazing. Sir. <laughs> well, do the job that you... This is amazing, all the work you're doing. Well, thank you. So, uh, how's the restoration coming along at Eric's? Uh, we are gonna be cutting it real close. Uh, I actually gotta run out and grab a few items. Well, remember, slow and steady wins the race. Fast and steady. Yeah. I'll be back in a few hours. Okay. Oh, uh, Paul and I were hoping that we could use one of your trains to put on display at the festival in our recreation of Holly Pines. What do you think? It's a good idea. It'd be great advertisement for the shop. Uh, Christmas Concord. Perfect set for the job. That's what I said. I'll go grab it. Sure. <laughs> Look at this guy. He knows his stuff. Oh, uh... What are you doing after we close up shop? Uh, my mom's taking Paul to the movies, and I was going to do some work here. Why? What would you think about a working dinner? Just so you could run me through the logistics of the website and stuff, you know? Uh, I'm free. Great. That's a date. Working date. Right. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you then. Okay. Not only do you have a product database, but I also created a page for your restoration work and designed a new logo for your shop. This isn't me being controlling. These are all just preliminary designs, and I want your honest feedback. Well, just, well, that's my honest feedback. How, how did you get so much work done in such a little time? It's funny, though. To be honest, it uh, doesn't really feel like work. But you know what they say? You do what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. <laughs> if only life were like that. What are you talking about? I thought you loved being a designer. I do, but work and life in Chicago is a far cry from Holly Pines. Sometimes I feel like I'm treading water. You ever think about moving back here? Paul seems to love it here. I know, and my mom would be over the moon about it. <laughs> She's not the only one. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think we ordered these. I did. Oh. We're celebrating. Oh? I might have. I might have pulled off a little Christmas miracle. Okay. I found one last supply chain in Albany that can overnight the part we need for the North Pole Express to get it on track by Christmas. Talk about burying the headline, Kevin. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. You know, I'd like to take all the credit. I would. But uh, this was a team effort. You have no idea how much this means to me. Just to do over you were looking for? I think it might be. Your dad would be proud. You found the way. 
your dad would be proud too. I wish they could see this. I can. Remember their memory in our hearts. They're always here. You know what? To our dads. And to the holiday train. Don't uh, think I didn't notice. Tell your mate I say nice job. Uh, I'll tell him. Yeah, I think there's an outside chance you might be rubbing off on me. Well, I hope that's a good thing. Here. Yeah. I had a really nice time tonight. Me too. I'd love to do it again. Maybe next time, uh, take the working out of working date. What about Jackie? She told me you two were getting back together. We broke up over a year ago. Like, she's still holding out hope, but I have absolutely no interest in getting back together with her. Well, why don't you tell her that? It's complicated, right? We're still friends. You need to tell her so that she can move on. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I know, I know, I know. Like, I will tell her I will be firm and steadfast in my email. Hey! I'm kidding! In person. Tomorrow. Well, I should get going. Let me get your door. I did, 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 did. <laughs> Hey, lady. Maybe I'll be less determined from now on. <laughs> well, I should get going. You never answered my question. Yeah, let's go on a date. A real one this time. All right. When do you go by that? Oh, uh, Mr. Logan. I'm so sorry. That's what people call me here in Holly Pines. Oh, you're gonna have to start calling me Chad after you hear the news I have in store for you. The company's expanding operations, and we've decided to open offices in Los Angeles come the new year. I've had no idea. Frankly, with what you've been delivering and your good work ethic, I believe you're the only candidate qualified to oversee things there. I beg your pardon? Los Angeles. It's a long way from Chicago. And Holly Pines. And Holly Pines. Well, if it's what you want, Danny. That's just it. I don't know what I want anymore. Being here has made me question everything. I just need to weigh the pros and cons and talk to Paul about it. I mean, this is a big move for both of us. This promotion is everything I wished for, Mom, so why don't I feel happy? Our job can't give you that, sweetie. Happiness starts there. Oh, come on. You always know what to say. Oh, honey. You know you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Mama's promise. Come on, let's have tea. <laughs> what time is that voltage controller supposed to get to the shop? Late this afternoon. Well, hopefully, without any hiccups. We'll be able to get her installed and running in about an hour. All I gotta say is, by hook and by crook, that train is leaving the station tomorrow. Think positive? Be positive. You sound like Danny. And all I gotta say is, if it wasn't for her, I don't know if I could keep this shop going. Can't argue with that. You got this? I gotta go talk to Jackie for a minute. Sure thing. We'll put all the food vendors along this side over here, and we'll put the photo booth over there by the toys. Okay, thanks so much. That's just great. Really? Prescott women are really amazing. Oh, 
Is there anything you're not in charge of? Oh, I heard. Well, Danny and I aren't very good at waiting. When we see a problem, we just go after it. For better or for worse. Oh, I'd say for better. Definitely for better. Thank you. Listen, we have a very special delivery for Danny that she's going to want to see. Right. You know, let's, let's not tell her that it's here. It'll, it'll be a surprise, but can you show me where you set it up? Absolutely, right this way. Thank you. <laughs> that carousel looks great. Okay, let me see the design again. Let's put some more people along the water here. All right. And I'll put some more trees to make it a little bit more festive. Hey, Mom, how far is Holly Pines from Chicago again? Uh, by car, just above four hours. Why? Nana said it's only two and a half by train. Maybe next time we could take the train here? That would be fun. Really like it here, don't you? Yeah, it seems like it would be a pretty cool place to grow up here as a kid. It was. You know, I look forward to every season here. In the winter, all the kids would gather and we'd go sledding down Chestnut Hill. And I remember one time, <laughs> I went right into this tree, but don't worry, I was okay. And then in the spring, there was the annual Easter egg hunt. And when I was in fifth grade, I found the golden egg right near the hardware store. It was a pretty big deal. And then in the summertime, we would picnic along the lake here and wait for the fireworks. That was the best view in town. Wow. I wish I lived in a town like this. Hey, come here, buddy. You did it! You both did it! Oh, my God. I, I, I don't know what to say. This is, this is so incredible. Eric, thank you so much, Kevin. So, she's starting to look the way you remember? It's even better. Well, you know, if you really want to make it up to me, uh, how about dinner tonight? After we finish up. But not our date, you know. Who call? I think I'd like that. I'm uh, guessing you talked to Jackie? I did. I did. And, uh... I gotta be honest, it feels good to get that off my chest, so thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you later. All right. Some room between you two. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you don't. Register is like music to my ears. Isn't it wonderful? Oh. Are you in for some last minute Christmas shopping? Uh, more like to say thank you for helping my client overhaul his website. How did you manage to convince him of that? A simple barter agreement, Holly Pine style. Uh, yes, yes. Kevin told me about that. I take it you're not from here? No, not originally. No, uh, Boston, born and raised. My parents used to take summer vacations here when. We were kids. Oh, thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So what made you decide to move here? I grew tired of being chained to my desk in the city, so I was burnt out. So I talked to my boss and convinced him to let me try working remotely for six months to see if that would work out. Three years later, and I never looked back. <laughs> you have a thing for Jackie? I hear she's single. Is it that obvious? Well, sadly, I don't even think I'm on her radar or maybe even in her league. Maybe a combination of both. Hey, that's nonsense. If you want Jackie to notice you, you need to give her a reason to. Embrace who you are. And don't be afraid to put yourself out there. If she doesn't like you for you, she doesn't deserve you. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Now I just have to figure out which side of me to embrace. Oh, that one. This for one. sure, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Hey. I come bearing gifts. One 
voltage control. The holy grail, all yeah. right? Cross your fingers yeah. and your toes. All right. Oh, I hope this works. Oh, I got a good feeling about this. All right. Is that it? Yep. All right. So hit the power. We give her a minute to warm up, and then I'll see what she's got. All right. Hit power? Fingers and toes crossed first, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Okay, lights on, good sign. All right, now hit the throttle. There we go. Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. Keep going, keep going. What's going on? Nothing. What? It's supposed to regulate the power from the transformer, not kill it. No. Okay, so what do we do? What? Now. <sighs> What do we do? Look, there's nothing that we can do. Parts for these things haven't been manufactured in years. And when you buy refurbished, it's just a roll of the dice. And we lost. Eric, I promise, Danny, we're gonna find a way. This is not something that you can will into existence. It's not working. You're gonna have to tell her we tried our best, but we couldn't do it. It just can't be done. You tell her. I'm not telling her. She never quit on me. I won't quit on her. Hey, Paul, why don't you go get your stuff? Kevin will be here soon. Okay. I haven't seen Kevin's shop look like this in years. I can tell he really enjoys having you around. Jackie, I'm sorry. I knew deep down it was over. He wasn't saying it, but... I'm sorry for accusing you of getting in the middle of something that wasn't there. He deserves to be happy. I want that for him. I want that for him, too. I know. Have a good night. Good night. Hey, Eric. Uh, what's happening? What's, what's wrong? I'm afraid I got some bad news. The holiday train won't be running tomorrow night. Yeah, the part we were waiting for was a dud. In a limited time frame, we just... Well, where's Kevin? I don't know. He got in the truck, and he just left. He didn't tell me where he was going. I thought I'd find him here. I'm sorry. See Paul smiling. <laughs> Mom, Nana, look at this. The card says it's for me. Here, let me see. To Paul from Santa? I think someone special wanted you to have this. Well, go ahead, buddy. Open it. No way! It's a holiday steamer, just like Grandpa's. Do you know what this is? A Christmas miracle. I, I think you're right. Come on, Mom. Come on, Nana. I'll see you outside. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get my jacket and my boots and some coffee. you, Daddy. I'm so sorry I didn't come visit the last Christmas. I tried to get the holiday train back on track for you, but I guess there's always next year, right? Give 
anything to get to talk to you about it. I know you'd probably say, stop thinking with your head, Danny. Start listening to your heart. It's never been easy for me. Christmas now. Thanks for making tonight so special. Tom really needed this. I needed this. And so did this guy. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could have gone on the train one last time. It's okay. We know you tried, Mom. Oh, thanks, buddy. Enjoy. Hey, Jackie. I was wondering if you could help me pick out some flowers for a girl that I like. I see. Yeah. Someone you've known for a long time? Not really, uh, but I uh, want to make a good impression. Oh, I get it. Someone you've admired from afar. Exactly. Then I'd recommend something understated, like these. What that is? These, these are great. These are great. Uh, now I just have uh, the card. Okay, uh, what do you want it to say? Uh, my Christmas wish is that the most gorgeous girl in Holly Pines sit beside me on the North Pole Express. Can you make my wish come true? P.S. I'm sorry they didn't have white roses. Well, if that doesn't melt her heart, nothing will. But I don't think the train's running. Is she here? Maybe you can get her some hot chocolate and flowers. Okay, chocolate and flowers, it's cliche, but it works. Trust me. Okay. Marshmallows or no marshmallows. Excuse me? How do you like your hot chocolate? Uh, marshmallows. And a sprinkle of some. Okay. Also, this is for you. And poinsettias. Poinsettias. Does it feel to know that we built this? Really cool. <laughs> oh, Dan, it's spectacular. Dad would have been so pleased. Mom, yeah, got you a little something. We're gonna give it to you tomorrow, but we can't wait. <laughs> it's long overdue. Um, how much I appreciate everything you do for me, Mom. For us. And I want you to know that I've made a decision. Oh? I told my boss that I'm not ready to go to the West Coast. That it's not right for my family or for me. How'd you take the news? Oh, uh, he was surprised. <laughs> but I told him if he wants me to stay with the firm that... He'll have to let me do it remotely. Remotely? <laughs> I mean, everything I'm doing in Chicago, I can do right here. And I want to see if Paul and I can make this our home. That would have made me so happy I could cry. <laughs> I love you, Mom. And I love you. And you. <laughs> Open. I can't believe it. You guys fixed it. I had nothing to do with it. Kevin called every seasoned train enthusiast and mechanic he could. And when he couldn't find the spare part that he needed, well, he did the next best thing. He rebuilt it with the help from a few other guys. He was, uh... Determined. More than I've ever seen. He didn't even tell you. I don't think he wanted to hear me tell him it was going to be impossible, because clearly it wasn't. <sighs> yep, we believed. Oh, 
you like to give me a guided tour? I would love to. Thank you. <laughs> Milady. Is this why you stood me up? Well, I figured you couldn't stay mad at me for too long. <laughs> and besides, I made a promise. Mom, this is so cool. Just the guy I'm looking for. I can keep it? Really? Of course. Look, every Holly Pines Braille fan needs an engineer's hat. Now, just promise me you can take good care of it. I promise. Now, get to the back of the train, sit in the caboose. Best seat on the train. <laughs> Would you like to go for a ride? I'd love to. Come on, sweetheart. Hey, hey, hey. Hop on board. Nice hat. Thanks. Kevin gave it to me. <laughs> Kevin gave it to you. Suits you. Come on board, folks. Grab a seat. Hey, did my Christmas wish just come true? It was you, wasn't it? Eh? At the auction, the holiday steamer for Paul. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Very can decided that we wanted to make sure it stayed in the family. One more little surprise for you. This was my dad's. Where did you... Your mom. She found it in the study. I offered to clean it up and asked if I could give it to you tonight as a gift. Your father left a note in the hat. I found it when I was reinforcing the ring. Dearest Danny, I knew you'd come back to our train one day, which is why I hid little treasures for you to discover. I'm so proud of you, and I hope you always find what you're looking for. Love, Dad. I don't know about you, but... I'm pretty sure I found what I'm looking for. I did, too. Yeah. All aboard the North Pole Express. Ready when you are, boss. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Take us home.